Hello and welcome to this November reaction. Now these are some of your favourite and most reacted to shots in the Reflex Piazza Facebook group for November. So let's jump straight in and see what we have going on here, starting with this really fantastic shot and taken at a train station in Korea. Wow, where to start? Tons of leading lines, love that. I'm always a sucker for a good leading line. You've got the sharp structure of the train station here. All these, all these lines, it's very, it's like steampunk-esque, this. And then you've got down here the, the smooth motion blur, but sprinkled into that, you've got the still people who can stay still for three seconds. This was a re-held shot. This was a handheld shot. A photographer didn't have to go to the train station, get the tripod out in front of everybody, and then start taking photos like a nerd and have security come up to him like they always do because they've not, got nothing better to do. He just got his phone out and just, just took the photo with in three seconds, bang, gone. And now uh, these people don't know what they're looking at. They could be looking at this advertisement here, which looks very engaging or checking the train times. But they add to the photo, definitely a little bit of uh, sprinkled still elements there. You've got these lights here, which brighten up this otherwise fairly dark lower section here. But you've got these extra pockets of light sprinkled in coming in naturally, contrasting, just looks real. This is, a, this is a proper keeper. If I had taken this, although, I live in Manchester and trying to get this at Manchester Piccadilly train station is just, no. I could try and I'll show you what it'll look like and you just be like, no, Dave, don't, just don't bother. Right. <laughs> Next, we go from outside, uh, we go from inside to outside and this shot, compositionally, it shouldn't work, but it does. Now, let me explain why. You've got these rocks here just plonked right there in the frame essentially blocking the eye. The eye loves to be led around the frame. That's why leading lines and the rule of thirds and the Gordon ratio are so effective because they guide the eye from point to point into the frame to the point of interest. This doesn't have that, at least down here anyway. It does a bit more up here with the lines created from the clouds, but this is more about the subject than the composition. This is just an inherently interesting subject, although is it? Because the photographer's done really well here to capture the clouds. You've got the sun here breaking through the clouds. This light, these little triangles either side here, creating some creating some light. And light draws the eye. Shadows don't reject it, but it's like shadows, it's like, no, don't look here. Light is like, look here. So I bet you didn't look down here when you saw this image or down here. I bet you looked here first and then you were looking over here. Really, really top stuff. We'd love to see some behind the scenes. We'd we'll, we'll love to see more from this Tenerife. One of my favorite parts of the world, the Canary Islands. I love the Canary Islands. And we'll see more from this photographer a little bit later on. Really top stuff. But we've got another one from the previous photographer here. <laughs> Public transportation, again, making it really cool. Another long exposure. Again, people adding to it. This, this lady here just cutting cutting through the motion blur or the motion blur is cutting through her. It looks, looks, it's really eye catching. My eyes just drawn to her immediately because of that. These, these yellow strips, again, you've got the still mixed with the motion blur, doing a lot of heavy lifting in this image. And it's just, it looks like it's just after the rain has stopped. So you get these nice eye catching reflections on the road. You get these subtle cars that you bet you didn't notice the first time in the background. Really top stuff. Yeah, I hope to see more from this photographer going forward. I don't know why I don't love this one. Shebang, there we go, love that. Yeah, life in the fast lane, great. I motion blur, again, reheld, three seconds. You just look like a tourist. You just look, like you're just blending in. Who doesn't take photos with their phones these days? So yeah, brilliant stuff. Now this is a post. This is really cool. You had uh, you have Brian here telling you about his experience with Reexpose, experimenting with the fireworks. And I would love to see some of the images that didn't quite work out so we could analyze and share with you what's going on so we can help you capture photos like this. Because people always ask me, what settings should I use in Reexpose? Because it's a really powerful app, but it's raw only, it's manual. People don't know what settings to use and they, 
They think they're a bad photographer. They're not. They're just there is a learning curve to it. So Brian discovered the lowest ISO possible, which is always key. Even though you're getting the frame averaged, although in light trials mode, you don't get the frame averaged motion blur, but he's used the reflex at wide angle lens. So he's got the quality of the main sensor on the iPhone, which is the most noise free, the highest quality sensor to mitigate against the noise that you get in low light. And these images look, just look great. Chap captured over three seconds. You've got some wider than others, some with more of the crowding, some with less of the crowding. And this is all about, again, the subject matter rather than the composition. Although they are well composed with the audience taking up a little bit of the frame there. If these were just the fireworks, I don't think they would work as well, but they're not just the fireworks. Really top stuff. I don't have a favorite. Do you have a favorite? Let me know. I do like the red here contrasting against the blue with, with the yellows. So this is probably my, I'll give this one an individual shebang, love heart. Right, ah, we go from the visual stimulation to ah, the tranquility. And I wish winter looked like this all the time. I wish the UK winters looked like this, but they don't, so now I'm bitter. So thank you very much. I'm gonna give this one a dislike now. <laughs> Yeah, what to say about this? It's, I think it's obvious why it, it works. Reflections just look cool. And I think it's a long exposure. Yeah, let's have a look at the post to be having more in information. Reheld, a 20 second exposure. So again, reheld, didn't need the tripod. Probably just out on a walk and saw this and saw this and just, just take your iPhone out. Reheld came out, and I think it was May 20, 23. So it's been out for coming up on two years soon. I have to do a two year anniversary where we collect all the best shots captured with reheld. And God, that would be a long ass video because some of these shots that you guys have been capturing with reheld are spectacular. I think it's, I think it's probably the most loved app of, of the reflex app collection. Right, we go to the, from the uh, light to the dark, the cinematic. This is Taiwan, I believe it's, uh, excuse me. Yeah, Taiwan, it's, just makes me wanna to go to Taiwan. I've never been, and it is interesting because this is a 48 megapixel image. Now that means no night mode. And that's interesting because high resolution in low light can introduce a lot of noise. So I can see Lightroom here in the next image. Keen to keen to see how it how it handled the noise. Now this is a pro raw shot. So you do get that multi-image fusion and all that sort of stuff. And because he's used the reflex again with those fireworks shots, because he used the main sensor with the reflex two times telephoto lens attached to it you don't get as much noise, you get higher quality. If you'd have gone into the two times lens that you can get now on the latest iPhones, you're gonna get 12 megapixels by default, I believe, and it's not as high quality. So this is really interesting uh, stuff here. Love the two times telephoto lens. It's not just a portrait lens, it is, you can use it for all sorts of stuff because it gives you that standard focal length. This is 48 millimeters around there. So you get that standard focal length and standard doesn't mean a quality of your shots. It just means like the go-to almost focal length. It's like the default, fo f uh, nah. <laughs> the default focal length, if you like. I can see it's been labeled three stars here. It's a five star from me. And last but not least, we have a photo. Again, from Tenerife, the same photographer. Apparently this is his first long exposure. That's his first long exposure. I I may as well just put the camera down at this point and, and, and just walk away because like, where's bro gonna go from here if this is his first one? <sighs> so nice. I, uh, what do I say about this shot? Well, I can tell you some, some, some things. I can give you my thoughts. So again, like Canary Islands, one of my favorite places in the world. If you go to either La Palma or Las Palmas, one of the two, there's an observatory there and when you go high enough you look down over the clouds and you see the clouds like rolling in and it looks like this if you get long exposure clouds and water 
can look the same. And it just reminds me of that. Again, with the color and the texture of the rocks contrasting, got the colors and the sky contrasting as well. It might be easy for a photographer to look at this and go, well, yeah, how could you not get a shot in that location? Anyone could have got a nice shot in that location. Yeah, but this photographer did, and you didn't. And you got to get up. This is a sunrise photo. If you read, if you read the comments, it's uh, taken at sunrise. So he had to get up and make his way here. It's a re-exposed shot. There's a tripod involved. There's, there's all this stuff gone into it that makes the seemingly easy shot possible. And that is my reaction to some of your favorite shots taken and shared in the Reflex Piazza Facebook group throughout November. If you want to get yours reacted to, join the Facebook group. It has like over 9,000 members now. It's going really, really well. It's so great to see. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to share once you get your super telephoto lenses. And it is great to be back doing these reactions. And I'll see you in the next one in December. I'm going to space these out over a month now just to give more time for people to share their photos. And I bet all the photos coming up next month are Christmas themed. Can't wait for Christmas. Oh, don't be a Grinch, Dave. <laughs> see you next time.